Now to the Georgia mom accused in a murder for hire plot targeting her estranged husband. Lindsay Shiver will appear in the, bah in the Bahamas court this morning where a judge could decide whether she gets to return to the U.S. Victor Okendo joins with the latest. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Michael. Lindsay Shiver has not seen her three young children since she was arrested in the Bahamas. She's expected in court in just a matter of hours where she will learn if a judge will allow her to return to the U.S. before her trial. This morning, the Georgia mother accused of plotting to kill her estranged husband due back in a Bahamas courtroom today to ask a judge for permission to let her go home for Christmas. 37-year-old Lindsay Shiver has been in the Bahamas since July 16th, out on $100,000 bail, unable to see her three young sons since her arrest. Lindsay, last seen two weeks ago in these Daily Mail photos, headed to a court appearance where she pled not guilty to charges that she allegedly plotted to kill her husband, Robert Shiver, with her boyfriend and a hitman. Although typically a petition of this type in this type of case with these charges is not going to be granted in the U.S., there may be some interesting law in the Bahamas that allows this to happen. According to a police report, investigators say Lindsay admitted to sending messages and photos saying, kill him. Lindsay's lawyer telling ABC News she is facing the legal process with complete transparency. The Shivers are in the middle of a heated divorce. In July, body camera footage capturing an argument between the couple at their Thomasville, Georgia home less than a week before Lindsay's arrest in the Bahamas. I woke up this morning. We have travel plans to leave mm -hmm. and he's insisting that I don't go. She sent a message saying that she's going to change her plans and now get on the airplane with me and the kids to go to the Bahamas. Uh, and too, when we way. land, she's going to go to her boyfriend. Elsewhere. And me and the kids are going to her house. If granted permission to leave the Bahamas, Lindsay will need to get her passport back from the U.S. Embassy. The prosecution had asked the court to order that she does not come within 100 feet of her husband, Robert. When we're talking about one country to another, it's highly unlikely that they're going to grant this petition unless there's some sort of extraordinary circumstances. If granted that permission to come to the U.S., she'll be ordered to return to the Bahamas in late February for a pre-trial hearing with her trial set to start in March. Guys, we will see what happens there, Victor. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.